If you have an accountability partner, please stop. This is making the problem 10 times worse because of the mindset you are in when you have this accountability partner. When I was on NoFap, when I was following the regular advice, I would see on YouTube how they would talk about get get an accountability partner so that if you ever fap, telling them would be very hard to do. It would make you not fap because telling them would be very stupid to do. And and it, it all sounds really stupid now when I look at it. But like back then, it sounds logical because then you're like, oh, if I have someone who I am going to tell that I fap and every time I fap, I have to tell this person, that's going to make me not want to fap because I'm not going to want to tell this person, right? Wrong. In fact, I did this exact thing with my older sister. Yeah, so me and my older sister were really, really close. Not in a weird way, but like literally best friends. <clears throat> so I told her about this stuff like around like November. We were at some fucking like birthday party, my cousin's 16th birthday party at some hall. It was like November and I told her about brand addiction. I was like, I'm on day six of like thing. Oh, but I'm going to stop because of I'm going to stop because I'm like <laughs> <laughs> because it's bad and like she was like oh whoa 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 and then like we just talked it was weird at first but then i eventually just like yeah we got i told her and then like you know i would still be relapsing but you know like i i'm not i'm not going to tell like i just didn't want to and that's exactly where you can end up like maybe you tell someone really important your best friend your relative your mother <laughs> you tell someone but it's like you still have the choice to not even tell them it's not like you're chained down and that like if you do it you uh will never tell them i mean uh, if you do it you have to tell them no you could literally choose to not tell them if you want to and that's the thing choice 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 that's what accountability doesn't uh take into account they make it seem like this problem is external that your own mind, you yourself alone cannot handle this problem. You apparently need some external help. Like, I don't know, some fucking random person, some support group. Rehabs have this. I know I'm talking about porn addiction, but <clears throat> porn addiction. Hate the word addiction. It's so like stupid. Now that I look at it and I've read the freedom motto, the word addiction is so like, ugh, because all it means is like you're not in control of your own mind. And you placebo that and it's so disgusting there's literally rehab support groups where they're like oh do you have this you have to attend this re- rehab <laughs> this re- recovery program for like i don't know nine months every week and you have to tell us if you've drank or like if you've done x drug and you know the person goes there like they they still end up doing what they wanted to do like if they want to drug like who gives a shit they might go to the rehab group tell them oh man i drank Or, like, they might not even tell them that they drank. Sometimes they have to do, like, some breathalyzer shit. I know this is alcohol I'm talking about, but it goes with porn. But, um, yeah, maybe they have to do some breathalyzer. They get caught. Oh, man, you drank. Oh, oh, and the person's like, oh, man, well, yeah, I did drink. Um, you know, it was pretty fucking lit when I did do it. So, you know, I'm, I plan on doing it again. And that is the key to quitting porn or to quitting any vice. (laughs) Vice. I hate, I hate all these addiction ideology words. Like vice, as in like an escape from your problems. But the thing isn't even an escape. It's just like, ugh, so stupid. But yeah, and that's the key to quitting these things. You see benefits in whatever you're using. Oh man, yeah, you know that shit was lit. But what you have to do is examine those beliefs and those perceived benefits. Sometimes the belief is, oh man, I'm out of control and I can never do this. That was one of my beliefs. That's one of the beliefs that kept me like really hooked in until I like really fully understood the freedom model and I was like wait I'm 100% in control because I because I read it one time and I was like you know I'm like 85% like I had this slight feeling of like that it might be hard that I might have to fight my way slightly but once I overcame that once I overcame that mindset that like oh this is going to be hard and I need like external help and I was like you know this is actually going to be easy because addiction doesn't exist. I'm not controlled. I fully grasped it. I'm in control here 110%. Fully grasped that uh, concept. Quitting just happened like that because then I realized I'm not being pulled to use this thing. I don't need accountability. I don't need this thing or I don't need to worry about 
how long the days have gone because that measures up how difficult um, putting porn is going to be. No, I didn't need to like care about any of that. I just cracked on once I realized I'm in control and the perceived benefits that I have of porn are placebo and that I'm actively creating those benefits and that I can choose to not actively create these create these benefits. And now I'm in a state where every second without porn is short-term gratification. I'm not delaying gratification. I'm not delaying gratification at all. I'm feeling short-term gratification from not watching porn because I'm like, fuck, this feels nice. Like This feels nice. Like imagine if I was watching porn right now. That's what I think about. It's like, what if I was watching porn right now? That would fucking suck, actually. Like, especially because, like, it doesn't have the benefits I think it had. That would fucking suck. Like, that would just be like, ugh, why, why the fuck would I do that? And that's the mindset you end up at once you, like, debunk all the shit with porn and really start to think for yourself. You don't need any accountability partners. You are fully in control. You, your mind, your reasoning. If you had an accountability partner, it wouldn't even matter. You'd, If you wanted to use porn, you would still use the porn. And in fact, you probably wouldn't even tell the person like I did. I didn't tell, (laughs) I didn't tell my sister, hey, I just watched porn. Like, no, because like, why the fuck would I do that? My own reasoning was like, oh, that would be kind of weird. I don't want to do that. And, you know, I just cracked on and I kept using it until I found the freedom model, etc. Hopefully you found this video useful. And, you know, if you have an accountability partner, comment down below who your accountability partner is, because mine was my older sister, which is fucking crazy. So if you had like a crazy ass accountability partner, like let's say you're fucking my uncle, (laughs) you have one of those then like comment down below. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, you know, and yeah, join the discord. I will see you in the next one. Peace. (laughs) Peace. If you enjoyed that video and you're interested on how to quit porn without willpower, right here, it's going to disappear. Three, two, One, no willpower, no willpower, no willpower.